Well, I have the uh, rain barrels hooked up already. Uh, weather's supposed to be nice. We might get some cold nights down around freezing, but uh, shouldn't be an issue. Um, I have a setup here. You can see is about 550 gallons. Each one of these tanks is uh, about 275 gallons. And uh, so I have plenty of water for my uh, garden and uh, other things that I use the water for. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would give you a quick rundown on uh, how I have here this system and how it works. And um, you can go ahead and set one up for yourself here now. It's still springtime and uh, time to uh, get going on it. Um, first I have here, you need a diverter. I got this rain reserve diverter here. Uh, it's a rather nice little setup. Um, this part here comes off and so you can clean it out and you can I don't know how well you can see in there but the rain will come down the gutter and not all of it goes into the uh, diverter that uh, if there's a lot of rain it'll go around it but uh, usually the rain will go along the uh, rain gutter on the outside edge and then it will come down into these tubes now what I did, I got the double tube one because I had two barrels and I figured, well, I'll just run one hose to each. Well, the kit only came with the one hose. I haven't been able to find another hose. Um, they do come with a cap. And uh, so I just like, well, the system works fine without it. Uh, so if I ever do want to get a second hose, that's fine. Um, if you do live in the uh, Midwest and uh, Menards, uh, they do have a cheaper version of this. Uh, I paid, the kit was, they go for around 40 bucks, 20, between 20 and 40 bucks, but they do just have that diverter, and I last saw it last summer for about $10. I'm like, ah, oh, should have waited, but oh well. Um, so then we come with the hose, you can run any hose there, and then that hose comes down, and um, so then I got it in this cap. Now, this cap here is actually an end cap. If you have these underground the landscape pipes here, which I have at the end of the gutter to uh, get the water away from the house. It's a 30 foot long. I was having water issues in the basement, so I'm like, oh, we'll get this way back out of here. But there's the uh, end piece that goes on there. And that was a lot cheaper than uh, anything else I could find. Uh, was about seven or eight bucks I think I paid for that. So that fits on there really nice. And then on the inside, you can buy these off of Amazon or elsewhere, is a, uh, a mesh bag. So you want to have something in there to filter everything out, uh, get all the uh, debris, the garbage, the leaves, whatever on your roof, filter it out. Uh, this is like a 100 screen mesh, I think. Well, you don't want to go too fine because it'll clog up. Um, this worked fine. It was, I had it in there all last season. And um, so, and it's just the right size too for that. So that goes on there. I just, uh, fits nice. And then, then this just cap this fits on there. That typically stays on there. Sometimes if you get a lot of rain or whatever, it'll blow off, but not a big deal. Um, there's the old cap, wintertime. I cap it up and then on the other side I have that cap under. Um, you want to leave the cap on the other side a little bit loose to uh, allow the air to escape. And there we go. That should stay. Well, I'll adjust it later. So that's that. So then the rain goes in here. And then it'll come down into this one. And this pipe goes to the other side. And actually, they'll both fill up about the same same amount, pretty much. They'll even themselves out. I uh, haven't really had any issues. Uh, I can see I got on here. It's just a Schedule 40 PVC pipe, whatever works. And then I got the uh, drain valve on there. I got one on each side. I figure I'll have two of them. I have usually set up a hose on one side, and on the other side I can get water out of. And then there are a couple of different... Uh, fittings on the end here and they do have 
there again at Amazon or elsewhere. Uh, you got to figure out which one it is, so you'll have to look it up uh, with thread size and all that. Uh, so there are some websites out there that will tell you that. So you want to get the, the piece that goes on there. That's right there, it screws on to that. Uh, it's your on-off valve for your uh, barrel. And then um, I just got some PVC fittings and glued everything together. And it held up over winter. I drained it out. It's fine. And I stuck it up on some regular blocks. Uh, you want to have plenty of blocks under there because... Uh, <laughs> 275 gallons of water is uh, about 2,000 pounds. <laughs> so you want to make sure you have a good solid base there. And um, so that's that. Uh, another thing too, these are a white or close to a clear uh, food grade rain barrel I bought. Uh, found them on Craigslist. A uh, person uh, nearby about 20, 30 miles away was selling them. They do a uh, recycling or they'll get these from businesses so if you look around you'll be able to find some but you want to cover them in plastic though in a black plastic and why you do that is to keep the algae out to keep the sunlight out now if you got those dark blue rain barrels you could probably do a smaller system with those and you could chain them together like i did with those and um, those i've read that typically don't need it but since i had these white ones they uh definitely do need it um, I wrapped them in plastic. I got a big plastic sheet. Um, these will come out uh, of here. The big uh, plastic barrels or some uh, screws on the side. You just undo these bars here on top. And then you can just tip it over. They're not all that heavy. Um, so I had a little damage on this one over the winter. So I taped it up. Might have to replace the plastic next year. Um, so on this side I got just the... Uh, cap on here loosely I don't know if you can see in there very well but there is water it's about a third of the way up uh, my roof is big enough where um, about uh, two inches of rainfall will actually fill these up and then some so the nice thing too is if this does overflow fill the uh, rain uh, diverter will uh, cause it to um, just go down the gutter instead of the uh, into the rain barrels so but you'd have to have that cap on there pretty tight so i haven't had really any issues and um, if you find a bunch of uses for your rain uh, other than uh, garden or just water your grass when it gets really dry um, you can use the water to uh, flush your toilets or walk do your laundry um, i wouldn't recommend using it for drinking unless you purify it boil it real well uh, so you can use that in an emergency uh, like I said, these are food grade containers, so you want to make sure you do that. Not some containers with chemicals in them previously, because uh, that will definitely cause a problem. So yeah, when I got them last year, they had I don't know like some tomato sauce or something like that in there. So I just kind of rinsed it out real quick, dumped that out, and it has not been a problem. So uh, I had oh, well over uh, filled these up like two, three times at least. Uh, last year so at least a thousand gallons of water and the city where i'm in they charge about 20 cents a gallon for water and sewer so uh yeah I, it's 200 bucks and that's about what i paid for this whole system here um i like doing things on the cheap and uh so it uh, more than paid for itself last year so this year yeah i get plenty of free water here so uh if you like my videos, uh, you can like, subscribe. Uh, if you have any other ideas for me or things you wish like to uh, talk about, uh, you can see in my description. I'm uh, very widely uh, versed in a lot of topics. Uh, these how-tos, I know people like them. So uh, I will be looking forward to uh, doing some of these again. Thanks.